welcome back to my channel my name is Renata and this is Runny and Style I'm so excited to have this video come out because it has been a while since I've posted any videos for sewing plans I'm excited because it's going to be a chunk of video where I'm going to actually be sharing my plans for the spring and summer season which I've never done before I usually just go month to month but the month to month thing is kind of overwhelming when you have different things going on in your life you know I do these videos because I enjoy it but <laughs> I have like 12 hours of my day to work my real job and homeschool the kids and then correct their work and then actually be the teacher to assist them if they hit any roadblocks and to just guide them and just keep them focused on their day while I manage my day as well so <clears throat> I decided that I'm going to move forward with the spring season fall season winter season sort of videos where I share with you the pieces that are on my mind to make and hopefully you'll see them monthly now just because I'm making these video about my sewing plans don't think that I'm not gonna have monthly makes videos because I definitely will it's just that it's way more mentally balanced to share with you a blanket of patterns and possibilities so it gives me a lot of freedom to be creative which is what I like to do and why I started the channel I just didn't want to make this a chore because I have to get this done by the end of the month or everybody will be like what's up Renata what were you doing I didn't want it to feel like a chore because once things become a chore they're not fun to do anymore and I want this to be fun and I want sharing to be fun and on another note the reasons why I think it's better for me to do my plans this way is I want to actually learn new techniques with each project that I complete. I don't want to sew tons of items and just have nothing gained from it. I enjoy sewing and I don't mind making basic stuff but I really like challenges as well that really keeps me going so it's very important to me to continue to educate myself in my hobby because it's a hobby but I want to do it to the best of my ability with all that said now let's get into the pattern that was like the longest intro I've ever done before <laughs> okay so the first pattern is McCall's M7573 I love this I think that this is a really great pattern it has so many awesome versions in it you can definitely have fun this season you can definitely have fun this season with this piece I like all the versions I think it's a great opportunity for your personality to spill out with this design because there are so many pieces I think the more pieces you have in a pattern it'll give you a headache sometimes but the more pieces you have you can do your own thing with it and you can change the fabric you can change the color you can just be you so that's one of the patterns that I do have on my to-do list the next pattern is the Mimi G's legging activewear pattern this is like the the promotion number because there's another number for this pattern so I did not want to call it out but this one is one of my favorites so far I can't wait to finish it I have actually started making my project already so that's in the mix the other pattern is hold that I should just have all these patterns on me instead of turning back and getting them. And I said, oh, where's my brains at? The next pattern that I'll be working on is, or I would like to work during this season, is 
the Mimi G jeans. Now I said I wanted to make this last year and I didn't get to it but I'm definitely getting to it because I have I bought a jeans kit so I have tons of denim I mean I have, <laughs> I have tons of jeans zippers and everything all the hardware I got all that and I'm ready to go I just need some time and I will be successful because this is going to be like the funnest summer for me because I'm so pumped to get projects out there that I really like and I like making jeans. The next one is mm, this Butterick BP264. This is a Gertie dress. It's a it's an older one, but I really like this one. I like I really like this one and I think it's um interesting because I am actually going to make version 8. Now if you know me, I don't usually wear a ton of big poofy stuff, but I kind of want to start. So that's the version that I will be working on and um, the next project okay. <clears throat> this is a B6442 this is a, a jumper and you guys <sighs> Renata and jumpers are just not cut out for each other this is it it's not focusing because it's focusing on me all right I'll insert <laughs> I will insert the packaging so you guys can see which one it is <laughs> ah so awkward guys it's been so long that I'm just like all over the place I am also making B6453 I need to rectify that lens. I need a new lens now because that noise is not really jiving well with me. <clears throat> I was sick over the last weekend, so if I sound a bit raspy, that's the reason. I'm also interested in working on this McCall's M7546. Now, you guys know that shirts are pretty much the, the rage right now in terms of deconstructed shirts where they're like off your body or there's like part of a shirt it's just interesting pieces for the shirts and I really wanted to work on one there we go this is the one I would like to work on probably the off shoulder view cold shoulder view so that is one I would like to work on during this season and then the McCall's M7547 wait for it guys and about there okay so those are some of the commercial patterns that I want to work with throughout the season there will be pluses I may add some I may take some out but on a whole, those are the pieces that I want to definitely complete for my spring-summer wardrobe. I know there's not a lot of uh, spring-like dresses, but those are things that I can always decide on if I see a new pattern or if I just get the, the urge to do that. Um, with the growing of the skills portion, I picked up this book from Sarah Alm. It's called Designing Clothes with the Flat Pattern Method. Um, here's a photo. Here is it. So I'm going to be working on this during the summer season uh, when I take vacation. I am going to take a vacation and spend that entire week just focusing on different techniques and completing projects so I'll do that sometime in July and August and I really want to get into this book and create my own block for my body I've always wanted to do it but I've been reluctant just thinking maybe I'm just not cut out for that kind of stuff and I could just use a commercial pattern and tweak it but you know it would be a very successful moment for me to actually do the measuring on myself and creating it with what's in my my mind. I've always wanted to pull <laughs> what's in here and bring it out into fruition and create something. So 
the projects may be a little bit slower or there may not be as much projects but they will be well made and properly executed and I can't wait to share with you guys what I want to do I mean I can't wait to share with you the entire project from start to finish and working in that if you guys would like to see like progress videos um, I, I'm always, I am always crunch for time but I don't mind like recording pieces of my project as I do it yeah so there you have it I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for ah, I see my fabric back there this is the fabric I'm going to be using for for this dress so that's the fabric I'll be looking for that dress so anyways thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you like what you see, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Follow Running In Style on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Bye.